six years ago we started traveling with our family and I'm an artist and, and uh, I combine like the work as an artist together with the traveling as a, as a family and uh, when we started in 2017 there were a lot of things we wanted to explore living closer to nature with a sl smaller footprint and, uh, and and educating the kids and all things were new for us so uh, and now we are kind of you know kind of adapted to this life and we love this nomadic lifestyle because it uh, it's really rewarding gives us a lot of time with the kids and, and to be around in specific beautiful places and that's really nice yeah family of five, uh, me and my partner Mikey and together with uh, three daughters. Fenna is the oldest and there's Alba, the middle one and, and Isolde the youngest. And uh, Fenna is 10, Alba is eight and Isolde is six years old. So we started traveling when she was a few months old. So this is about all, all our life we're traveling, which is nice and uh, yeah, it all fits in the in the little van behind me, yeah. The first van, I built two fans. So the first one I built in 2017 was uh, a slightly larger. And uh, we traveled two years with this one, uh, that one. And then uh, eventually we built, I built another one and I kind of uh, improved, of had a lot of ideas which I wanted to improve. And, and then I built this one. I built it within six months and this one is actually smaller than the other one it's lower it's it's less wide and uh, better insulated uh, uh, better wood stove and better battery pack and more solar panels so we're way better prepared for off-grid living and it really works so we've been last for a few years we've been uh, all the way up to uh, Lapland and uh, had temperatures of minus 34 centigrade and the, the car was perfect you know we had a, we have a little uh, heating system in the engine when you when we start uh, traveling in these temperatures then you start up the heating system and the engine heats up a little bit and 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 the insulation works really well it's all sheep wool and or I use a lot of uh, kind of second hand and recycled material so there's an old floor which I kind of cut in small planks and, and used it uh, on the ceiling and, and we have a lot of kind of old materials because it was a, like a, just a, a white uh, transport box and so there was no uh, kind of feel or no kind of atmosphere in it and, and so I, I found these old windows from a scrapyard, old windows and old doors and that adds a lot of atmosphere to the, to the fan and uh, yeah. That's how I kind of created the, the style and and uh, and the feel I wanted. You know, it must be really kind of it, it, it's our home. It's our only house, and it's nice to to be uh, when you're when you're in remote places, wild. And it's really nice to have a have a place which really comfortable and cozy and warm. So yeah, we kind of succeeded in that. This is our home. It's always there wherever we are on the road. It's small, but we experience a large freedom just to be outside. And of course it has challenges because the space is small. So you need to take care of yourself and of the children that uh, also mentally you have enough uh, space to breathe. So you need to be uh, strict to go out whenever you need, for instance. But the, the quality of life is really good because we spend so much time together. We really experience every moment of the children, every second. And um, that's a very rich life, I would say. My kids, uh, well, I can see that they really enjoy the freedom of this life. 
So whenever we arrive at the spot, they just go out and explore. And this, this could be a beach or a forest or like a small village. They are just very curious and they just love to be part of this, of this team, of our family. The goal is to live as close to nature as possible and to be in harmony. It, it doesn't come natural, you have to work for it, you have to look for places where you can stay, you have to meet people, you have to be in balance with yourself to reach that goal. So that's a goal you would, could chase every day, or chase, you know, you just look for, you, you, you long for. Um, but I always have the idea that uh, we live kind of close to nature um, and I feel very privileged that we can live this life. And when I look around with friends and family, um, sometimes you're like stuck in the rat race. Uh, I just would want for them that they could experience this as well, just a small piece of it. And of course, it's, you know, it's, it's hard work to, be, to live with five on small space, to educate them ourselves and uh, to be entrepreneurs and things like that. Um, but it's, it's, it's in balance, so the work with, on the other side, being in nature and being in silence and listening to the birds and, and seeing the birds and teaching our children about nature and to take care of that part, you know, to be aware. It was already a box, just a simple box with uh, plywood on the side. So it's a very easy way of to start a, a truck like this and uh, so i added some some uh, strong wood on the inside i glued it to the inside as a structure and then i added a lot of cheap wool to insulate it and uh, yeah and, and i put some some uh, wood cover on the inside around that so it's, it's really and i painted it the outside wood so it is wood but it's wood with just plywood but I painted it wood because it's it's so nice to have more wood a wood feel and and you <laughs> in the forest it's nicer people react uh, nicely and and, and uh, so it's better to have a funny car than a plain boring car you know this is our double bedroom here above and underneath is the garage and here's the cho toilet and shower department and and then here's the wood stove you see the wood stove with the pipe and this is like the second uh, entrance you know if we close the the rear the drop back then then we use this as an entrance and uh, on the other side there's the kitchen so it's very it's a very simple and then there's a like a l-shaped uh, couch where we can all sit with the five of us so it's easy and then with this we have like a, the double cabin which I like because when we drive, it's really safe, you know, nothing can, can go to the front and, and it's, it's nice to have a, like an extra separate space uh, in the front. It's quiet and it's, yeah, it's lovely. So we start with the kitchen. This is the kitchen um, and you can take this out and you can put it everywhere we want. And this is the bucky. Yeah, you do water in and that's uh, like a filter. This is the stove and here we put water in and then it warm up and then we can shower and wash. Um, and then we have warm water. So we can use it for everything. Here sleep mom and dad. And we sleep upstairs. And we go here and then here's a little thing and then you go up. So uh, this is mom and dad's uh, bedroom. Here in our, uh, our clothes. And this is our bathroom. And uh, we can uh, shower here and uh, the toilet. Uh, yeah, and everything with you need in the bathroom. And how do you like the life on the road full time? Um, yeah, I like it, but uh, this is all we need. Uh, w this is all we know. So.
I work as, a, as an artist, so I, I make works on the road. I do landscape photography at night. I make light installations and I run around and manipulate the landscape with all sorts of lights. That's one of the works I do. And then I, we sell that all over the world and, and I work with galleries and, and stuff. So uh, that's our income and that's how we can combine the living and the working in, in these kind of environments. Yeah. Uh, we did choose this lifestyle because it's um, yeah we love to travel and to see new places and to live closer to nature to have a simple lifestyle which is uh, and uh, which is also I think better for the environment so that's why we chose it and we still do it after six years because we found out that uh, that it's that it really suits us. Uh, and it, it made us aware of the idea that, that um, it, it, is, it can be enough to, ver to have a small house, can be enough. And if it's enough, you know, you don't, you don't need more, if you don't need more, you don't need, have to work as hard or, you, or you, you don't have to earn that much money. So you have more time, you have more time to explore and to have encounters. So you, you really change the balance and that's really what we've figured out. We have a really nice balance between working on locations, on the most beautiful spots in Europe and, uh, and, and living and having enough time to explore it and have, have enough time to, have, to meet the people and to really understand more about nature. Because that, I th I'm, I'm confident that it, we need as a society, we need more time to understand what is going on around us and uh, we need to understand how nature works and we need to understand how complex it is and how fragile it is and how vulnerable it is. So by having this time, we kind of, we have another uh, perspective on society and we wonder, you know, why are people running and running and, and living in this fast pace? Uh, because we changed it and now we see how, how kind of crazy society can be. We kind of homeschool the kids, um, so we have like uh, regular books with us, reading, mathematics and, and, and writing. And that's what we use uh, most of the days. We start with schooling, like an hour, two hours, and then, uh, and then we start to uh, do other things. So we think it's also important not only to sit in the classroom all day, but also to go outside. And we see that, that they, they like to play and within their play they create their own, they have their own fantasy and, and, and they meet a lot of people and other children and they're, yeah, it's, so the, the, all the input from, from this traveling life, you know, that, that develops them as well. It's not only, you know, you can have school and you can put a lot of information in a kit, but th these kids are experiencing a lot of different situations and that will, develop them in a different way and uh, and I really like that so we started off in 2017 we didn't know that we would travel for this long and we like it and it's we see the, the results so it's 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 not bad it's really I like it a lot you know the, the kids are happy and they are creative and they communicate well and and yeah it's it's they're flexible and yeah it's nice to see that Well, I hope that by living this lifestyle, by teaching them about their surroundings, about the plants, about nature, that they appreciate nature more and not just appreciate it more, but also be aware and take care of nature. And that is one of our 
also one of our purposes to live this life. Because when you know about your surroundings, when you know which plants grow, which trees, and you recognize them on different locations throughout the world, then you, f you, you have this connection. And by having this connection, you are more taking care of it. You are more aware and appreciating it more. What inspired me is that, that I was traveling a lot when I was still working as a commercial photographer. And, uh, and I had some really amazing encounters in the, in the Amazon and in Ecuador and in the Tibet and uh, Alaska with the Inuit. And, and it made me aware of my own situation. And, um, and it also showed me, you know, that you know, if you see the people living in the Amazon with so, you know, so few things, and they have so, so much trust in their children, for instance. You know, we, we traveled around in the jungle for days and, uh, and, and they had small kids with them and they let their kids, you know, also walk for days alone in, in the jungle. And, and it, it, it gave such another insight for me. And I thought, you know, it's, it's really nice to, to see your children grow up, but also to trust them and to... It, it made me also aware of the, of the Western situation. We are so afraid and we create these situations with the traffic and, and uh, pollution and everything. And so we drop the back, it's a, like a hydraulic system and uh, when we drive we can, we can attach the, the bikes to the back and uh, when we put it down uh, we have a little deck where we can sit, uh, which is really nice. But it's also nice to have like a fold out uh, home because it's, you know, it's, it, I, I like it when it's close when we travel, it's very sturdy. And, and it's, it feels really safe. And then when we are somewhere, you know, we, we fold, up, fold it open and then uh, people are surprised by the effect. So if there are people around, they are, you know, they are already really nice and positive when they see us. It's like a small circus, you know, and then there's three kids and a dog coming out and uh, everybody is happy and it's, it, it adds a lot, you know, to the energy. But, uh, but for us, it, it's also practical. It works really well like this. And we have like the old doors with the glass. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to have a view. And, and, you know, we put it on some of the best spots, you know, you can imagine, you know, it, near the sea or in the, in the mountains in Norway or somewhere in Sweden. It's really awesome, yeah. Do I see, see myself till the end of the days living like this? Uh, I don't know what the future will bring. Um, but, you know, like the, like the basics we experience in this kind of life, like living small, uh, be aware of your footprint, uh, living simple. Um, I think that's a thing I will take with me for the rest of my life. Um, so, I don't know how it will evolve. It might be a small house, or it might be a small caravan, or it might be a small tent. Um, but for now, I see, I see us continuing doing this. Yes, definitely. Thank you for watching. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. Questions or remarks, post them in the comments down below. If you like our video, just click the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you for watching.